guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a cash stuffing envelope video and it's for the first paycheck of the month i can't believe this year is almost over so there is a couple things that changed so my leftover from last week is still three dollars instead of and then what changed is my husband's total amount he received so it's it was 20 20.93 this this week i'll zoom you guys in so you guys can see um so that total the new total is 20 23.93 now for the bills that i have to pay they practically all stay the same the only one is uh the gas and the city so the gas came out to be 82.18 and then my city bill came out to be 181.68. Okay, and so that brought my total to to 10.69.38. And then that leaves me that leaves me with a total of let me double check. So 2023.93 minus 1069.38 with $954.55. Okay. And then for my cash envelopes, this week I only put gas and haircut. And so for gas. Oh, let me use, okay, so for gas, um, that stayed the same, which is 55 and then haircut, I decided to do $20, and so that brought my total to $75 that I needed to, to get out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so $954 minus $75, that leaves me with $879. 55 to work with for my cash envelopes okay and then for my cash envelopes they practically all stay the same except shutters I finally got a quote for my shutters and I know I was saving up to a thousand I, I believe I had like 950 or 900 but anyways the quote came out to be $686 so I'm so happy so my shutters my shutter fund I won't have that anymore um, the leftover that I had saved from my shutters which I believe was like, like two two something or, or 300 that will be deposited and be paid towards debt because I want to pay off my student loan by the end of January so I'm I'm happy so then the total amount that I need to take out for my sinking funds is 170. And then that leaves me with 709.55. That's my dog crying. Okay, and then again, I always put $100 into savings. And after that, that leaves me with 609.55 left to pay to debt and my battery is about to die um okay so i'm gonna zoom you guys in and i'm just gonna put these amounts on the side okay so the first one is gas and that is 55 dollars so 55 and then for gas, I currently have left over 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. I have 81 dollars left over. Okay. And then for haircut, um, I'm gonna put twenty dollars. Oh, where's my pen? And I just did a twenty. So for haircut, I currently have twenty-eight 
25. 25 left over. So with this, I'll have 45. Um, I need to get my eyebrows done, which is not part of the... Um, it's not a haircut, but I just <laughs> practically it is. Um, I need to get my eyebrows done, and then my youngest son needs to haircut. Okay? So the next one is hubby's allowance and my allowance, and those are $20 each, so I will put those aside. Then for family fun is $50. And for family fun, I have a zero. We used that all up. And then for birthday fun is $30 and 20 and 30. And so for birthday fun, I bought my husband his present already. So I have less amount. So I currently have in the birthday fund 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, uh, 220, 30, 35, 36, 236, okay. And then the next one is car maintenance. For car maintenance, I did $50 and I currently have, so 100, 200, 250 plus this one is $300. And so I need to get, my husband's car needs tires and then I need an oil change. Okay, so the total amount that I took out in cash this week is $245. And then the remaining balance will be, will be going towards debt. Um, so yeah. So if you have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey as I become debt-free. And I'll see you next time. Bye.